Hey, what's going on, y'all? All right, sorry it's so dark in here. Hopefully that helps a little bit with the light coming in through the one window in here. But um, we are going to start the video off with a little fish feeding for you. All right, y'all. So, food. And look at them going crazy already. They know what time it is. Put them back here so the feeder pushes it around. Well, the filter is better. Look, look at them going crazy. <laughs> That's how fast they grow, and that's why you're supposed to have bigger tanks to put them in because they get big so fast. And pretty soon we'll be doing the um, the live feedings for these and the Oscars for the silver dollars and the Oscars. But yeah, look at them going around. It's crazy. That one right there, the um, one down. I'm sorry. Yeah, this one. This one right here. That one was, if you remember, that was the really tiny one that was only like this big. They grow so fast. Very cool. All right, on to the next thing. All right, next part of the video. That's cool feeding, right? They're, they're always fun to feed. Whenever we start doing the live feedings, that's what's gonna be really fun. All right, so we got some Lures. We're gonna do go do some uh, creek ultralight fishing today. Actually, extra light fishing because my ultralight is very, very, very tiny. But anyway, we ended up about fifteen dollars yesterday at Walmart. Found some really cool stuff. I'm not gonna show you that because that's for the Halloween special for the channel. So we're gonna leave that in this bag. But we got a little tiny Ozark Trail minnow. Check that out. That thing is probably what I'm going to tie on first. Yeah, we'll tie that on first. I'm going to see what the fish are doing. I'll leave that out. Then I got another one that's in the clown color. Actually, you know what? It's dingy water. So we'll do this one first. And then what's funny, what's really cool is it's Ozark Trail, but they put kind of like Rap Rapala does or used to do where they put the tips and stuff. I love that. You just put the pack open and it's right there. I used to always read these. Okay. Get that. Then I got a little straight king bitsy minnow. That's in the chartreuse color. Throw that at some point. Let's see what I'm gonna do next. I got a little tiny rattle trap, little lipless in the chrome color. So that that is probably gonna get used. Actually, I'm probably going to try to use all these. And then we got this little, it's a, um, it's called the cream of baits, but king of baits. Uh, cream or creme, I don't remember. I've, I've seen this bait a lot for um, panfish and walleye, but I found this at the Walmart down in Myrtle Beach. Check this out. It's so cool. It's a little tiny crankbait with one little treble. That is definitely getting thrown today because that is too cool. And we'll try to catch some panfish. And Ezra's actually going with me. He wants to, um, he wants to catch a some kind of a brim, maybe like that big. And then he wants to um, try to catch a bowfin because you see bowfin down there quite frequently. They go like that. So he really wants to catch a bowfin. So he's taking his little dock demon, and he's gonna try to catch a brim. And then he's taking his bait caster, which. Um, I need to grab some octopus hooks before I forget about it. And then we'll put a little blue go in there, toss it out there, and the bowfin will come up and chomp on it. But anyway, we need to get to the creek and we will be right back. Look at this. There's Market Street right there. Old uh, Blanche is back there. Parked on the road up there. Did I locked the truck. All right, it's locked now. It's a little soupy down here. Check this out. A little bridge. Yeah, see that water? Yeah. Water's pretty clear right here. Maybe I, I should have went with the more natural glasses. color. Huh? I don't even think I need my glasses. I don't know. Probably wouldn't hurt. I see a fish over there. Let's get down here and I see a turtle. This is super shallow right here. Might be able to catch. Oh, I see it. Yeah, might be able to catch one of those little bluegill over there. All right, let's get to it. 
Yeah, look at this little itty bitty crankbait. That is so cool. The action is insane on it, on this little light rod. Very, very cool. I'm gonna catch something on that today. Nice, buddy. Those look like carp. You got it? Yeah, I'll come help. It's not the big one I was looking for, but... That's a pretty one. Yeah, he's Good job. really pretty. Yeah, he got that one, didn't he? Yeah. Nice. You try to lip him? I don't think he's big enough to lip. Yeah, hold him at the back. Good job. Alright. Nice. You want to chuck him back? Yeah, do I just throw him? Can you, huh? can you grab my rod? Yeah, just make sure he hits the water because that brush is going to be... There you go. He's in. Wow. <laughs> yeah, freak skin now. Yeah. Nice. High five. Good job. Slimy high five. <laughs> All right. There Very cool. There's a sunfish. Uh huh. That looks like a one pound bass, but it's Oh really? Good. I've seen so these uh I've seen some grass carp swimming. All right. I am going to sneak down here and try to catch something. So many bluegill looking at that right now. Anytime I move the lure, like all of them are right on it. I want to hit. <laughs> Here's one. Little bluegill. Want to go down there? <laughs> There's a little one, little sunfish. Got a little sunfish. <laughs> he is tiny. That's about what I expected to catch on the world's tiniest little crankbait. Oh wow, he's tiny. He is, he's cool. How are you casting down? Huh? How are you casting down? Oh, I don't know. Like I cast anywhere else. <laughs> that broke at the top there was destroying those Was it? Uh-huh. Well, hopefully I don't accidentally hook into that. I don't want to catch a bowfin. I just want to catch a little bluegill and so I could but I have to like get down in the water and I don't want to do that I don't know if this is from people walking down here or if this is from a gator sitting up in here don't know all right y'all so Ezra and I are going to jump back in the truck and we're gonna to go to the other side of this right here and um, do some more fishing why don't you come Take a toss in this spot. Oh! Oh, come on! He didn't get, I didn't get full commitment from him. He came up and ate it just because he felt like he had to. That's the only thing that stinks about this is you can't really set the hook. You hope it says itself. That was a, um, that was like not even a one pounder, but it was a bass. Get it, get it. 
Yeah, right in the weeds. I can't pull it up enough. Definitely not a... Oh, there's the bass, too. Let me get your hook undone, buddy. Another little bluegill. That's pretty. That's an actual bluegill there. Yeah, this is not a bad little spot. Be careful right there. Alright. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good sized bluegill right there. Got him. Yep, it's a good size broom, look. Oh. He's pooping. Yep. Oh no, he's got something wrong with him. Ugh, parasite. Yeah, something. Ugh, that's gross. That's gross, but cool. I mean, he's big. He's big. He's begging. He's big. Oh, wow, there's big one Look. Throw them over there. Yeah, there are some good ones right there. You can come down here. Can you cast? That's why I said you can come down here. There's a little one. <laughs> he sideswiped it. A little sunfish. It's a pretty one. I know he didn't sideswipe it, he got it. Do you have any booster tails by any chance? Mm-mm. It's pretty. Wow. He's caught three bites. It's really pretty. Look at the blue on him. It's so cool. You've got three bites. Uh I think. I think he's made I don't know. Usually when I come usually when I go brim fishing I don't really count. Go out and catch them. Have fun. Yep. Got him. Yep. Oh, he's a monster. <laughs> he is a monster. Oh, there he goes. Now he decided that. He's gonna pretend like he's hooked. Holy cow, did you see that carp? Do you see that carp? That's a big carp. Watch. It might do it again. Maybe. That's a big carp. How big? <laughs> big, like. Hey, there's I see some tails right there. That was a big one. What's that? Um I'm not sure. Probably 50. What's that? Yeah, probably. That's a better one for a better one of the day. Yeah. <laughs> there was a What is that? A grass carp or something right in front of me. Oh jeez. All right, y'all. That is it. We are done. I am going to go back to the truck, which is over there. You ready to go? Yeah. We have to go grocery shopping for the week, so we have stuff to do. We gotta get crickets mm -hmm. for his uh, chameleon, and I think we're good on mice. 
Yeah. Well, we're good on mice for the snake, so. Anyway, we're gonna get up out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. That was a lot of fun. I love doing that. That little crankbait right there, made by Cream or Creme or Creme. I don't know how you pronounce it, but yeah. that little guy right there, that was the star of the day. And I have this little one tied <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, he's fishing a little popper, a little fly. Yeah. But anyway, we are out of here. Um, if you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed Ezra going along, then uh, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you um, could share the video out, I appreciate that. Uh, drop a comment down below. I love reading the comments and I try to answer every single one. And make sure you subscribe and we will catch you all next time. Take care.